Well, that right there was a snip of what you can expect at the 21st Annual International Ocean Film Festival here in San Francisco that will present 35 independent films celebrating our oceans. And here to tell us more is Executive Director Anna Blanco. Anna, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Yes, super excited to talk about this film festival, the biggest of its kind in the entire world. It's coming here to San Francisco for three days. It's coming up pretty darn quick. So tell me all about the festival and what people can expect, Anna. Well, the festival is an opportunity for people to see films that you wouldn't otherwise see. Uh, we had a record number of submissions this year, over 200. And so we've curated it down to the 35 best films about all about the ocean. So you can see films about marine wildlife, coastal cultures. We have our favorite programs, which are about sharks and surfing. But there's something for everyone. And it's just an opportunity to learn more about our ocean mm -hmm. because the earth is covered and 70% of the earth is covered by water, by the ocean. And yet most people won't ever have a chance to see what lies below the waterline. Wow. So through independent storytelling and amazing filmmakers, from all over the world who make it their mission to tell these stories, this is an opportunity to come and learn more about the ocean and why it's so important for us. Oh, that's amazing too. And you're right, 70% of the world is literally covered by this beautiful thing that we call the ocean. And so many of us really don't know what's going on. So sounds like this is an incredible opportunity to learn and just enjoy the beauty of the ocean a little bit more. This is a three day event, which means there's more than just the films. There's a lot going on. What other activities can people expect? Well, we have fabulous panel discussions, which are free and open to the public. And it's an opportunity for people to come and hear from experts about particular issues about the ocean. Um, we have one on blue carbon. We have one on filmmaking itself, how to make an, have an impact through a film. And we all love our California white sharks. So we have the California yeah. white shark project on, on staff as well. Um, we also have a free Family Ocean Film Day for young students uh, on Friday, April 12th at 10 a.m. And so it's an opportunity for students to come with their families. Usually we do it for schools, but San Francisco Unified School District is on break this week. Yeah. So we're going to open it up to kids and their parents. They can come for free. It's a very large theater. There's over 400 seats. So it's open to anybody who wants to come and see films about the ocean and hear from some of our filmmakers and some marine scientists. And it's just a great opportunity to spend the day for something that's free and educational. Yeah, and it sounds like if you don't already, everybody have some spring break plans, maybe that would be a nice little spring break plan, right? A nice staycation and learn a little bit about the ocean. Exactly, exactly. And it's just a fun opportunity. We're at Cowell Theater down at Fort Mason. It starts on Friday, April 12th, and we have over 30 filmmakers visiting from all over the world. We have marine scientists. It's just a wonderful ocean community to come and learn more about the ocean. We also have about 30 30 different groups that are going to be tabling. It's really an opportunity to, to, to meet those folks, learn about their mission, volunteer with them if you'd like, donate to their organizations, and just get a better understanding of all the people that are in our community here in the Bay Area mm -hmm. that are working to save our oceans and to protect our ecosystems. I mean, it's such an incredibly important body of work, uh, saving our oceans and protecting our ecosystems. For you personally, Anna, what has this journey been like to organize the festival? I know we were just talking before we went on camera how it's kind of stressful up until the last minutes, but what has it meant to you personally to be able to see this unfold? You know, it's interesting. It's a great question because I started out in financial services when I first started my career. Totally different. Totally different. <laughs> Wasn't fulfilled, didn't find any meaning in it, and after 15 years, I switched careers we are a nonprofit so I am a scuba diver I'm a sailor what yeah wow. I, yeah I started sailing here on the bay taking kids out sailing on the bay for them to experience uh, the ocean and after that I just decided to commit myself to this particular um, nonprofit mm -hmm. and I've seen so many films over the years so many great films um, I've learned a lot about what makes a good story how do you tell a story about the ocean how do you tell a story about a fish about you know all the creatures that live in the ocean so I have my debut film 
in the festival on Friday as well. I what decided is it? to become what is it a filmmaker. Uh, it's called Sequoias of the Sea, uh -huh. and it's about the disappearing kelp here in Northern California. So mm -hmm. there was a heat blob in 2014, and it killed off a lot of the kelp. And so we're trying to do restoration efforts to help bring it back. So my film is a short 14 minute work in progress, but lots of passion, lots of love. And it takes, it focuses on a uh, commercial urchin diver in Fort Bragg. Wow. So Fort Bragg is a backdrop. He's an incredible um, fisherman. And it's really about the efforts that people are doing to help save save the kelp. Oh my goodness, you went from being in finances to just doing it all when it comes to the ocean, scuba diving, filmmaking, nonprofits. That's absolutely amazing. So one more time, Anna, all the details about the weekend's events, the 3D event for the film festival. So we start Friday, April 12th at 10 a.m. is the free program for families. And then our first program starts at four o'clock. That's my film. Mm -hmm. Then we have a fantastic opening night uh, film. It's the world premiere of Blue Carbon, Nature's Hidden Power, which is fantastic. Saturday and Sunday, there's nine programs of films. Um, and then our panel discussions are also on Saturday and Sunday um, at 12 and at 3.30. And then we also have an inter international student film competition where we get kids to bring send in their films mm -hmm. five minutes or less about the ocean. They're from all over the world. And we're going to be showing those for free as well. So it's a oh, great wow. opportunity to see what young students have to say about the ocean. And it's just, it's, it's beautiful because they are our next ocean heroes. Sure. They're our next ocean leaders. It's the next generation of people that are going to be protecting our oceans. And they have a lot to say, and they're great filmmakers. I believe it. Well, Anna, thank you so much. We are looking forward to the three days of events. We do appreciate it. Thank you so much, Olivia. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, of course. It.